Hey guys, welcome to Now Trending. For this list today, we are counting down top 10 board game rules you probably didn't know. So let's go. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10. Free parking is really free parking. In Monopoly, most individuals will tell you that the free parking area is a popular landing location with money coming in through taxes, prison fines, and other kinds of revenue. The free parking spot, on the other hand, is simply that, a free place. Free parking, according to the rules of Monopoly, is nothing more than a worry-free landing spot. All of that more money means more opportunities to play when you land on a property, which means more time in the game. Leave the money on free parking and your gaming duration will be reduced to around 60 to 90 minutes. Number 9. You only have to draw one car in an Uno. Draw two, drop four, skip, and reverse. In Uno, the majority of players love dumping the consequence cards on their opponents. When you get close to conclusion, the chance of drawing up to a large number always looms, causing some games to drag on for hours. When a player doesn't have a matching color or number in hand, according to a Facebook post from Uno, they just need to draw one card. They are not required to sketch until they are in agreement. This time-saving measure has been overlooked by most house rule players, although following the actual regulations can considerably reduce game time. Number 8. You can be anywhere to win Clue When collecting clues, the rules of Clue say that you must be in the room where you are making the proposal. You can, however, make your final accusation in any room. So instead of rolling your way across the board, go into the nearest room, point your finger, and let justice reign, as long as you're right. Number 7. You can fire multiple times in Battleship a player shot one time for each remailing ship their opponent had in the salvo version of Battleship. As a result, a player might fire up to five times through their turn. Destroy a terrorist vessel? You've now fired four times. When you reduce the number of shots each round to one, this multi-round rule allows for faster gaming and greater suspense. Number 6. In the game of life, you can steal from retirees. There are 25 life tokens in the box, which will provide you in-game bonuses to help you get to the top. Isn't that life token space typically just a free space once all 25 tokens have been used up? If a player has retired to millionaire estates and no more life tokens are available, their life tokens are now up for grabs according to the rules of the game of life. Don't want your life tokens to be taken away? Retire to a calmer countryside acres in exchange for not being in the race for life tokens held by all the other players. Number 5. You can use a Yahtzee anywhere in Yahtzee. When you roll a Yahtzee, you earn 50 points and must fill in one of your scorecard's most difficult lines. But what if you receive another game of Yahtzee? You earn an extra 100 points according to the rules of Yahtzee, but you can't put it wherever as long as the relevant numbers category is already full. Do you recall the previous roll? Let's suppose you categorize it as 5s. You roll a 5s on your next turn, but you previously had a Yahtzee. You may now fill in any other category for the points with that Yahtzee. You may also use it to fill in the blanks in the other number categories. However, it will give you zero points because none of the numbers match. Number 4. You can twerk and scrabble. When most scrabble players face off against opponents, they use the dictionary as a reliable source of word verification. For verification, the huge book of definitions is the last word of truth. Not really. The ordinary individual does not maintain their reference books, despite the fact that a dictionary is a wonderful tool. As a result, a dictionary may lie on a shelf for years before being utilized, failing to take into account changes in our language. With the official Scrabble player's dictionary, the wonderful folk at Scrabble were able to resolve the problem. As our vocabulary expands, this online tool is updated on a yearly basis, including hundreds of new terms at a time. Number 3. Not everyone wins in Jenga. It appears to be moving. You commit. You lift the piece in one smooth moving and breathe a sigh of relief, only to see tens of wooden blocks tumbling to the ground, much to the joy of everyone else in the room who exclaims, Jenga! The last individual to successfully take a Jenga block from the tower and stack it at the top, not the group, is the game's winner, according to the official Jenga regulations. So, even though it's a multiplayer game and several individuals didn't knock down the tower, a Jenga game only has one genuine winner. Number 2. Sometimes it pays to botch the surgery in operation. 
there may come a moment when you must illustrate an operation in which you are an expert. You don't get a second opportunity according to the rules of operation. They claim that if a doctor performs surgery and fails, a specialist is called in. This implies you might purposely fail the operation the first time around, only to be given another chance, at a higher pay rate. In real life, this would result in a malpractice lawsuit, but in a board game, it's a smart way to earn a fast buck. Number 1. The last can be first in categories. The comma is one of Scattergory's most underappreciated tools. The comma can be used to list a person's last name first, according to the official Scattergory's rules. So, instead of receiving zero points for Captain James T. Kirk, you get a point for Kirk, James. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Before you go, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Now Trending for more trending videos.